In my last video, I drew the, the continuity equation. Uh, and uh, let me go ahead and write that continuity equation on the board again. It, uh, partial derivative with respect to time rho plus del dot rho v equal to zero. So this is the continuity equation that uh, uh, we got last time. And uh, let me write this in, uh, in Cartesian. Cartesian coordinate system, this equation will be partial derivative with respect to time rho plus partial derivative of rho multiplied by velocity in x direction with respect to x plus partial derivative of rho multiplied by the velocity in y direction with respect to y plus partial derivative of rho multiplied by velocity in z direction with respect to z equal to zero. So this is our, uh, our continuity equation in Cartesian coordinates. In, uh, in cylindrical co coordinate, the cylindrical coordinate, our, uh, our formula will be plus 1 over r partial derivative with respect to r of r rho multiplied by velocity in r direction plus 1 over r uh, partial derivative with respect to theta of rho multiplied by velocity in theta direction plus partial derivative of rho in z direction with respect to z equal to zero. In cylindrical coordinates of z direction stay the same. So this will be our continuity equation in cylindrical coordinate and in spherical in spherical coordinates, uh, we are going to have partial derivative with respect to time rho plus 1 over r square partial derivative with respect to r of r square rho times velocity in r direction plus 1 over r sine of theta partial derivative with respect to theta of rho v theta multiplied by sine of theta plus 1 over r sine of theta multiplied by the partial derivative with respect to phi times rho multiplied by velocity in phi direction equal to zero. So these are our continuity equation uh, for a general form of continuity equation. Now, uh, if our uh, fluid is incompressible, incompressible, what incompressible means means incompressible means our density rho is constant so our density will be constant in incompressible uh, fluids so when rho is constant then the partial derivative of rho with respect to time is the partial derivative of constant will be zero. So all this portion will be zero. And also in here, if you uh, remember, 
the formula partial derivative of a b with respect to x is equal to a partial derivative of b with respect to x plus b partial derivative of a with respect to x so all the derivatives of rho will be constant so all these rows that term with the rows will cancel out and our continuity equation then for incompressible flow will be del dot b equal to zero so this is our general this is our general continuity equation and uh, so if we go ahead we can rewrite this let me go ahead and erase and rewrite everything for the incompressible fluid so for the incompressible fluid our formula will be, our continuity equation will be del dot B equal to zero. So our equation for incompressible fluid in Cartesian coordinate system will be partial derivative of velocity in X direction with respect to X plus partial derivative of velocity in y direction with respect to y plus partial derivative of velocity in z direction with respect to z is equal to zero. So this is our continuity equation for incompressible fluid in Cartesian coordinate and this cylindrical coordinate is going to be 1 over r partial derivative with respect to r r multiplied velocity by r plus 1 over r partial derivative with respect to theta multiplied by the velocity in theta direction plus velocity, uh, partial derivative of velocity in z direction with respect to z equal to zero. So this is our continuity equation, a cylindrical coordinate for the incompressible fluid. And in a spherical coordinate, for an incompressible fluid, our uh, continuity equation will be 1 over r square partial derivative with respect to r of r square velocity in r direction plus 1 over r sine of theta multiply multiply by velocity in theta direction times sine of theta plus 1 over r sine of theta multiply sorry here I missed sine of theta partial derivative with respect to theta and this partial derivative with respect to phi of velocity in phi direction equal to zero. So these are our continuity equations for an incompressible fluid. See you.